Well, hello there, fellow Samsung Vibrant owners. Today is a special day, for Team Whiskey has released another iteration of Nero. We're now at Nero version 4. Uh, I'm actually going to be reviewing version 4.1. They released it this morning, January 10th, 2010. And uh, actually, as soon as they released it, a bunch of people were reporting uh, bugs with the camera and uh, various other stuff. So immediately later today, later that day, okay, um, they released version 4.1, which addressed and fixed those bugs. So I'm actually going to be reviewing version 4.1. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started in the speed category. First things first, apps open and close extremely fast on the ROM. Uh, not just saying that, it actually is very, very fast. As you can see, uh, everything open and closes very quickly. From going from the dialer, home, market, home, camera, sick. Just absolute speed at its best. I love it. So very fast on that front. <clears throat> we have really smooth scrolling, just like any other ROM, of course. Uh, scrolling throughout the home screens, in the app drawer, everything feels very fluid through the contacts list. Yeah, everything feels really good, very fluid. Let's see. So the wake, the phone wake and uh, sleep time for this phone. I actually did this really like unscientific test to prove a point on how fast or how slow this thing wakes up. So what I did was I basically timed using a stopwatch and the phone how fast it takes or how fast uh, it wakes up and goes to sleep after you press the home button, I mean the power button. So after doing it a couple of times and taking an average of the time, it seems like it takes almost every time about two seconds for it to fully wake up. So basically when I press it, you see how it comes on, but then it like, it illuminates like further afterwards, like a split second afterwards. That's when I would stop the stopwatch. So there, there's the illumination, you see that? So that usually takes about two, um, two, two seconds. And then um, from there, and sleeping it, it takes about one second for it to actually switch off. So take it for what it's worth, but uh, in, in other ROMs like Auxura and stuff, I've seen faster wake and sleep times, like probably one second for a wake. So it's, it's not that big of a deal, but just in case something like that bothers you, there's the info. And now for the Quadrant score, this ROM, uh, scored an average of about 1486 and that's after three successive uh, quadrant runs so um, I averaged out the numbers and that's the number I got 1486 usually you know, that's a really typical quadrant score for um, voodoo voodoo based ROM so <clears throat> yeah now despite that number and how previous ROMs that I've reviewed have higher numbers I actually feel like this is the fastest and snappiest ROM I've uh, review to date. I mean like and I can actually feel um, a noticeable speed increase like I feel like it's much zippier when opening and closing apps and for that I think in general it's just a lot faster than previous ROMs that I've reviewed and so with all that said uh, I will be giving speed a 9.5 and that's where the extra half a point comes from it's just from that like that feeling that visual cue that it's faster so that's that Alright, up next we're going to talk about features and functionality. And like most ROMs that I've reviewed in the past, this uh, ROM also has the toggle, uh, the toggle on top, um, which is very convenient. The battery icon up there at the top corner, I know you can't see it, it's orange, but then that white in the middle, that's actually a, um, a percentage indicator. So, uh, I guess I, I would like to think that Team Whiskey watched my previous video. And because of that, they added that, but it probably isn't because of that. But anyways, so that's there now. Uh, the ROM is an Android 2.2 Froyo-based ROM, and it was built off of JL5, um, the, the JL5 leak from Samsung. So let's see, other features that the ROM includes is uh, for the keyboards, it comes with Swipe, the gingerbread keyboard, uh, the original theme, the orange one, and the Samsung keypad. The Swipe that they've included is actually a full, fully functional version of Swipe, as they say in, in the uh, post on XDA. Um, there's actually the calling, I mean the voice control figure uh, feature down there. See it? Okay, so that's that. The messaging app is actually the TouchWiz messaging app, as you can see here by the bubbles. 
so bubble messaging right there so a lot of people like that a lot of people don't whatever the alarm clock is the TouchWiz alarm clock. The calendar is the TouchWiz calendar. Mm, let's see what else do I have listed. The file manager is Samsung's Files app. Uh, and there's no memo. What is up with these ROMs not including Samsung's memo app? I think that that was such a that's such a handy app. It's so quick to use and I mean like sure I can download like color note or something off the market but I thought memo worked really quickly and that's what I liked about it for me to just simply jot stuff down okay and then the music player is the touchwiz music player so you know we all like that right touchwiz music player um, now the um, the original post on XDA actually mentioned that the gingerbread launcher that this comes with is an actual upgraded gingerbread launcher I don't know what that entails uh, you know I don't see any differences I don't notice any differences but you know if team whiskey says it's updated I believe them the lock screens that we have on here are just like all the other ones uh, it includes four lock screens all four of the uh, these galaxy s ones the puzzle lock glass epic and the uh, standard stock Android unlock screen and uh, the dialer that comes on this ROM is actually, um, uh, they, they mentioned that it was an, the dialer from Android 2.2.1. So, I don't, like, again, I don't know what, that, what features this has over the others, but it's just nice to see that it's, you know, it's an upgraded version. And then they also added the, men, uh, the menu tabs here, just like the ones that are on Gingerbread and the Nexus S. Like, uh, uh, more specifically, the Manage Apps tab, which uh, gives you quick access to a to the app manager I mean yeah the app manager so you can quickly kill tasks and stuff like that very convenient very convenient the ROM has voodoo built in so um, it's supposed to flash or it's supposed to install voodoo automatically when you flash the ROM but um, if it doesn't like if it doesn't for you all you really need to do is uh, manually enable it yourself and um, if you don't know how to do that I'll include instructions in the description box down below so uh, and in case you're wondering, the camera does not feature uh, does not feature the front-facing camera option. So up there in the corner, it just it's a camcorder. It's a camcorder option. It's not an option to switch to primary camera, so or a secondary camera. All right. So after all that, um, uh, features and functionality, I'm gonna give it a 10 because uh, it's just it's jammed packed with a, a lot of very convenient and useful little things like. Um, one to differentiate it from the rest, like it has a lot of the great um, updated versions of of apps like the dialer and stuff. So that's really cool. So for features and functionality, we're gonna give it a perfect ten because uh, it basically does everything that I personally want it to. So in my book, it's a ten. All right, moving on, we're gonna talk about aesthetics here. Oh, I'm covering the computer screen because uh, it's a MacBook in the back, and now you guys are gonna start hating on me, but that's my roommate's computer. I don't use Apple products because I'm an Android fanboy. Don't don't hate. So aesthetics, um, the way the ROM looks looks very nice. Just like uh, Nero version three, it still has you know the black and green, um, the black and green accents. Uh, uh, some minor changes. The 3G icon up at the top that usually says 3G. It's now it's been changed to an H. Once again, you can't see because the Galaxy Tabs camera just uh, sucks. But anyways, yeah, it's an H now, not 3G. Um, the menu, the settings menu, is uh, consists of black and white icons, so no colorful, um, no colorful icons like in like Xura's ROM or the Xura ROM. Uh, the market is the stock green one. There you go. Uh, now I'm actually gonna show you the the boot sequence. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. I was gonna eat up too much time of the video, and I'm gonna get screwed. So uh, I'll show you the power off right now. So here's the power. Did you see that? Was that pretty cool? That little Android guy? That was pretty sick, huh? Yep, it's pretty sick. Well, that's the boot down, and uh, as soon as it reboots itself, I'll show you the the boot animation. The boot animation is actually just the the typical Nexus one, you know, the Rainbow X. So. Uh, okay, this needs to hurry up because this video is at like 10 minutes already, and 
YouTube allows you to have 15 minute videos and I still have to talk about finish up aesthetics and talk about network and battery so I'm just rambling on you guys like my toys over here who would win Mickey or or, or Andy oh <laughs> I don't know but uh either of these two can beat that over there see beat it okay I'm just being dumb right now but it's because I need to kill time before this thing boots up like, I, I wish it would go faster like if I just hit it and stuff Anyways, talking about aesthetics, uh, my phone is getting beat up pretty bad. I've had it for about seven months now. Okay, the media scanner is done. Okay. All right, back to the topic. That was the boot animation. Okay, so unlike Xura, which has like a lot of fancy um, animations, like if you did that and you open up this menu on Xura, like this screen would like uh, spin in. Um, no, none of that stuff here. And then also on Xura, when you unlock your screen, this thing kind of like fades out and goes like spins downwards out. So uh, no fancy transition animations here on Nero version 4. But um, I think they, once again, they, they replaced it with the stock animations to, to have a nice crisp and clean look and, and in all just to increase speed, which I like. So I'm not going to dock any points there. The wallpapers that come with here are just like the ones in um, uh, Nero version 3 with the... Uh, microbes wallpaper and the nexus one or nexus s wallpaper and then they added a bunch of like static wallpapers too uh, you can look through that you can look through that list yourself later when you go through it there's just a quick overview there's a lot actually yeah there's a lot of wallpapers there okay so all in all uh, aesthetics this this rom looks very good like especially if you're into that gingerbread look um i'm gonna give it a nine so it looks really good, and uh, it'll please a lot of people who like uh, the Nexus S and how it looks. So, All right, last but not least, network and battery. Um, first off, it's based off of JL5, which a lot of the ROMs that uh, I've reviewed in the past are also based off of JL5. So you can expect all the good um, data throughput and uh, network reception and stuff like that. However, uh, as soon as the ROM was released, a lot of people were... A lot of people were complaining about um, not being able to send send mm uh, pic picture messages. Basically, um, I don't know about that. After I flashed it, it was giving me trouble initially, but then eventually it worked. And I'm guessing it's just like maybe settling into the the network or something like that. Um, you need to give it time after rebooting it and all that stuff. You need to give it time to let it settle into the network and obtain signal to send stuff like that. Um, but if that doesn't work for you, you can try to change the APN um, in the settings, like right here. Uh, you go to wireless and network, go down to mobile networks and uh, access point names. Change that to um, create a new one by pressing menu and new APN. And then you want to create one and all you do is change the name to, uh, uh, you can't see that, but what it says is internet2.voicestream.com. Try that and that might work. Um, and then also to test the network uh, speeds, I also ran a bunch of uh, speed tests and at 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, um, which is, a, I, I don't know if that's a typical time for a lot of network trafficking on the T-Mobile network or not, but uh, I was basically getting an average um, download uh, speed of 2.11 uh, MBS, MBPS, and about 0.59 up. So usually in the same location that I took the test, I, I would average around 4, but I was only getting 2 here, so I'm guessing maybe like there's, there was a lot of traffic going on. So... Yeah, well, those are the speed test numbers, about 2.11 down and 0 0.59 up. And then um, in terms of uh, signal reception and data, there's also been kind of like an inconsistency with the ROM uh, being on either Edge or 3G. Um, us um, like, for instance, in places where I would normally get 3G signal, I was only able to get Edge. So, um, and then, like, it would switch on and off. So th those are possible problems there. Um, so because of all this and wrapping it all up with, you know, the initial problems with a a sending MMS and just like people not reporting like flawless use out of the box, I'm going to give a network and battery an 8.5. So after you average out all the scores, um, speed got a 9.5, features and functionality got a 10, aesthetics got a 9, and network and battery got an 8.5. You average all those out and the ROM gets a score of 9.25. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think that's the highest score so far for a ROM that I've reviewed. So, yep, Nero version 4 is really good. Uh, a lot of nice features, looking good, and uh, just good performance overall. So, uh, if you like my videos, subscribe, uh, comment if you have any questions, and uh, check back for future videos. Thanks.